Hello, it's Amy from Amy Parker Art and founder of Creative Warriors Membership, where I teach you how to make money with your art. So I'm here with Karen, and I'm so excited for you to meet her. Karen is one of our very own Creative Warriors, and I just love Karen so much. She's super inspiring, a wonderful artist, and yeah, I'm super pumped to be hanging out with her today. So Karen, I would love it if you could tell everyone a little bit about yourself and what you do. Hi, Amy. <laughs> Thanks Hello. for having me today. Um, as you can tell by the accent, I am from Australia. I'm actually from Perth, Western Australia, and I live in a, a little part of the valley of um, the Swan Valley, um, which is really beautiful and inspiring for artists. Um, I it definitely never... helps you out. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. I'm going to keep <laughs> them hanging for a few minutes, but in a little while, I'm going to ask you to show some art pieces and you all better hold on because they're beautiful. Anyway, go ahead, Karen. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I never actually really considered myself an artist. My profession, I actually have a master's degree in social science. So uh, I considered myself artistic um, and I used that to assist clients who were struggling emotionally. So uh, that was about the basis of what I considered uh, and I used like graphic uh, drawing, graphite. I used graphite a lot. And I used graphite for years and never, ever dreamed of going beyond that. I dabbled with oils and I dabbled with acrylics, but uh, no, always went back to graphite. But when I found that I could no longer work, I started to get bored with graphite. As you can imagine, there's only so much you can do with it. And I started dabbling with um, watercolor. And um, although I was absolutely blown away with the way watercolor worked for me, and, and it's out there. Some people will say watercolor is the hardest thing to work with. And they're people that work magic with acrylics and oils. Uh, or, or oils and others will say that watercolor is just brilliant and I'm one of those people because it works for me um yeah you found your thing you found your special medium and I think we all can take a lesson from you where you are explaining how you did dabble with different mediums because we need to do that as artists to find our special like niche and what we like to use. And my specialty is acrylic painting. Um, Karen's is watercolor. And um, Karen, I don't know if you, I, I think, yeah, you probably saw one of my recent little watercolors um, because I'm here on vacation and I'm not in my studio and I had to fly on the plane. So I brought a little watercolor palette that Tim had bought me so I could travel with it. And I'm probably going to have to reach out to you and be like, hey, Karen, help me. What the heck am I doing? But um, yeah, so watercolor, you know, because I'm so used to using acrylics, watercolors taking a little, it, it's, a, it's different. It's different. But you really have a great knack for it. Well, watercolor tends to have a, a, a mind of its own. You, you don't control it. It does its own thing. And the trick, I think, is, is to be able to know how it's going to react when you put it down on the paper and I, and I guess that's that's where I probably um got the hang of it or the yeah. knack of got that oh, grasp. I know what it's going to do when I do that or uh, I'm willing to experiment and then I can see something in that what it's done and work on top of it yeah. right right and I, I have always been what people call a tree hugger. <laughs> <laughs> always have been. Um, uh, even as a little child, if I was 
you know, stressed, my mother would put me in the bath with water. As soon as I hit water, I was happy. No. Uh, later on in life, um, when I was distressed, we'd go, we'd pack up and go camping in, in the forest and things like that, you know. But it would always be near water. Um, and I can resonate life, with that as well. I love to swim, you know, and here I am down in Florida, I'm swimming in the ocean for like a half a mile. And uh, Tim's like, um, hello, there's sharks down here. It's like, I'm risking my life to take a, take a swim. But I know what you yeah. mean. I, I love it. Well, Australia is known for its pristine beaches. But hey, you know, give me a muddy river. <laughs> no sharks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Since Jaws came out when I was 15, the, the sea's been out of bounds for me. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, wildlife, I've, I've always had uh, an affinity to wildlife. I even had a baby Joey that I used to have in my shirt and he'd have his nose sticking out the top and his towel coming out through the bottom and because he'd lost his mama and, and, and I used to keep him warm in my shirt and the Aboriginal people, the locals, used to make up a mixture of milk for me so that I could feed him. What is uh, that? Is that? I don't know that. Yet. Is it a squirrel? What kind of animal is that? A joey is a baby kangaroo. <gasps> oh my gosh, you had a baby kangaroo. That is amazing. I hope you yeah. got pictures of that. No, <sighs> this is going back. This is going back to when I was about... Um, well, I was pregnant with my second child, so I would have been about 22, 23. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I, was out, I was out in the middle of the bush on a station, you know. You don't think of taking photos of right. little children. Well, you'll have to paint it from your memory. <laughs> I think I might be able to. I can remember that the shirt was a green plaid shirt you know one of those plaid shirts mm -hmm. uh, but he was gorgeous um but as much as I tried to save him because he had no fur when I first we first got him he succumbed to pneumonia and and he did pass before he was able to you know be released Aww. but he did live a long time before that you know he ended up with fur and, and he, he ended up a good well foot tall Wow. And he used to bleed and climb into bed with me. <laughs> oh my gosh. How amazing. I've never heard of yeah. anyone having a, a pet kangaroo. That's awesome. Oh, he was gorgeous. <laughs> um, and we also had a goat that thought he was a dog that used to run through the farmhouse too, the station house too, and climb all over the furniture. I mean, I've had a pet emu. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, you're very connected with uh, nature for sure. Um, that's, yeah. that's probably why you love painting, you know, painting nature subjects yeah. so much. And so you said something yeah. a little while ago about how um, not even too long ago, you really didn't consider yourself like a true artist. So um, how did you make that that shift? How did that come about for you? We get a little glitch. We'll see if she comes back. A little frozen. So take it from there. And then what happened? Um, so, um, like I said, um, I tried acrylics and I tried water, uh, tried oil painting, and um, it, it just didn't gel with me. And then um, uh, I found watercolor, and um, it, it it worked for me. But um, I didn't really consider myself um, an artist. I thought artists were people that um, had studied years in university and um, knew color theory and and you know knew all the technical ins and outs of pigments and uh, and all that. And all I knew was how to throw on a bit of water and 
create a picture. <laughs> yeah. And I think we all, we sometimes we, you know, I've heard this from other artists as well. Like, oh, you know, I want to sell my paintings. I want to, but, but I, I never went to school for it. I don't know, like the, the background of what you were just saying, the color theory and, and things like that. Uh, listen up, people. I never went to art school either, and I'm not knocking that in any way for those have, that have gone to art school because I have many friends that have, um, as well as some of my very own creative warriors that have gone to art school, but not all of us have. And um, I agree with Karen that you still can be an artist without having that background. You can still feel it. You can create and we always can learn something new every day, whether it be technique, business skills, whatever it is that we would like to um, improve on. So, um, yeah, go ahead, Karen. So this, well, that's exactly what I decided to do. I started following different watercolor artists on YouTube and um, Instagram and Facebook and and. Um, and uh, I sort of got connected with a photographer on, uh, a nature photographer on Instagram through me asking if I could paint his photos because he takes these amazing photos of nature, in particular birds, which is where I actually feel mainly drawn to. I've done You're flowers. Loud. Yeah. And I've done, an, I've done this, dragonfly which actually I hated to start with and now it's my signature painting um <clears throat> and that one's on uh, your business page too I think isn't it yes yes it's yeah. become like I said it's sort of become my logo yeah um, it's funny how things turn around eh yeah <laughs> um and um this photographer and I have become quite good friends he he allows me to paint his um, his photos as long as I credit him. Yeah, and um, he is actually in the processes of sort of. It's going to take years. He's been at it for years, apparently, um, putting a book together uh, on for children on ecology, and it's going to be a story about how we ruined <laughs> humans, ruined the earth with throwing rubbish away and um he wants me to paint the characters and then one of the characters is here I'm going to show you Kev yeah. The <laughs> yeah let's let's do that let's show everyone at least a couple of your pieces I really want them to see this beautiful work that you do look at this, that this is Kev the Kookaburra look at the detail in there it's gorgeous yeah. Is that yeah. one of the ones that you submitted to one of your art shows? Um, I was going to, <laughs> but I missed the opportunity. Oh, um, okay. Uh, but I've just recently um, joined the local art gallery as a volunteer and nice. as a member of the art gallery. And so um, I get to know when they're coming in advance. I get to yeah. know. Yeah. yeah. So wonderful. So I've moved into the I've mo moved into the art world. There you go. And this is another one. This one. This Look one at is, that. We we haven't named this character yet, but he is um, uh, what you call a powerful owl. A what type and of so owl? A pat is called a powerful owl. Oh, it, it's so pretty. I mean, yeah. you know me. Those of you that follow me, you know I love owls. And I saw that one yeah. of the parents. I'm like, wow, the, gorgeous. These, these, these things I'm not allowed to sell because they're characters out of a book. Um, so um, I've mounted them. And um, they're beautiful. They're beautiful. Love them, Karen. So they're both from photographs that he's allowed me to post and uh, uh, paint. And, um, you know, he's like followed my struggles and encouraged me to keep going. And he's, he gifted me um, 
better quality paints when he because he's known my situation and I've wow. just done him paintings because he's done that what and a nice gift yeah he is he has been a godsend to me because there's been times I haven't been able to paint because of my arthritis and I have um like tremors and now and again, my paintbrush will do aerial acrobats across the background of my painting. And I thought, I wanted a white background. And now I'm going to have to do a splashed background. But so hey, said, you can work with it, right? Happy accidents. Yes, happy accidents. Yes, Bob Ross. But he also <laughs> sent me this, which is... Oh. And it goes on... This is uh, too small for me, but but I've got the larger size that goes on my and the paintbrush goes through that. So when you lose the grip, the paintbrush stays with your fingers. That's ah, pretty nifty. I've never seen that. Thanks for showing everyone. It's pretty yes, awesome. So, so yeah, so they're good. They're also um, they're they're available. They're they're expensive to get in Australia because they get shipped from America. <laughs> so my american friends they're dirt cheap <laughs> yeah so we can get them a little cheaper thanks for that tip yeah. karen <laughs> yeah. so um yeah and he, he was saying you know um like it, it was through him that i improved my um my pictures my painting because although he's a photographer he, he was a man for details and he, he's, he is a man for details and he would give me like photos and and with high definition photos so that wow. i could zoom in and copy yeah. he trusted me to do this because that's wonderful sells, yeah that's wonderful that you met this person online see what hap can happen with the online world and i know inside that's of creative so cool. warriors I teach you all how to market your paintings online, how to how to brand yourself as an artist, how to do this online thing and, exactly. you know, discover some techie things that you need behind your belt to do this and make it happen. Um, you know, it's all it's all a learning process. But even if you do some some in-person stuff like Karen was just saying, she's connected with a gallery and things like that now. So, Karen, you could even, you know, build your your business page you can even make friends within that gallery and they can follow you online you can kind of blend those two together um Put as together. well yeah and um i'm so excited for you know creative warriors and what um the successes that i see you all making from what i've been giving you for trainings um and what i did is i just put in everything that I've done, my strategies that have helped me as an artist to be able to sell and uh, make money online and be a working artist from the comfort of my home studio. Um, so I'm just, I'm just so excited to be talking with, with Karen. She's uh, amazing as you just seen her, her paintings. I'm so excited to have a member from Australia and I just, can't you know I mean who can get sick of listening to her I love that accent it's amazing <laughs> but Karen I was wondering if you could tell everyone like oh, I don't want to spoil everything because I know that you've had a lot of wins since you've been a creative warrior is can you tell everyone like a little bit about before you joined or before you found me and got into the membership and like what has happened like since you've been a member well i sold two paintings one was to my daughter's boyfriend ex well my late daughter's boyfriend who saw these ducks that i did and fell in love with them and i said oh no you can have them and he went no no you know i said all right well you can have them for what i paid for the you know for for the paint and paper you know so we were i worked out a price gave him the price then he come over and gave me a hundred dollars for him <laughs> there you go and I, yeah and he said no he says that's good and he and off he went 
And I thought, oh, wow, I sold a painting. And then somebody else bought a painting. But these are both from people that I, I knew. And they just saw it on Facebook because I was just showing it on my personal page. Yeah. And I thought, oh, I like this. I like being able to sell my paintings. It's so a I nice joined a feeling. Of memberships that weren't particularly for art, but they were about getting your business going. But they were like, you've got to do this and you've got to do that and this, this, this and crunching numbers. And, and it was like, oh my God, this is about pressure. <laughs> and I'm retired. And in my, in my profession, I had deadlines all the time. And and I worked under pressure and I worked well under pressure. I mean, you're working with unwell humans that needed things to be done at an acceptable time. But and you've been there, done that. You did your time with that. Yeah. I want to, this is my time and I want, I want to be able to, I'm a book binder as well. So I use, I use my art to work as covers as well you know yeah. oh, that's gorgeous down. and I make um to my paintings into bookmarks and things like that <laughs> don't mind that I'll pick that up later <laughs> get that after don't worry about it hey we're gonna <laughs> throw a little comedy into this uh session here <laughs> with us today <laughs> you, you can't you can't interview me without something crashing or banging <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so um where was I <laughs> um, so you were talking about how great you felt you got a little taste of selling a couple of paintings <laughs> then you were looking around for specific for some memberships to kind of help you out in the business world and they were like well I'm on a pension and the cost was like far more than I could afford. But I thought that the way they sold themselves was that it was, I would get threefold back by following their plan. It was sell, 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 sell. And I thought, I can't afford this. I, I join, I do like, instead of doing the annual, I join for their three monthly plan and I'd starve for the three months. <laughs> you know the starving artist <laughs> and and I thought I can't do this I I'm just gonna just let my paintings sell if they sell I'm not under pressure that way and then I saw your there was a little I can't I'm sorry I can't remember the name of it but it was that little painting thing that we did it was a short I might not remember the name of it either, Karen. I can't remember. I do so many I'll things. I'll have a look because it's still there in my groups, but it was a short-term group. It was a yeah. free one Yeah. Uh, that you did. And um, I just thought, wow, who is this woman? <laughs> you know, and um, I joined, it was a group that I actually joined in with. It was one that I felt really drawn to. And I thought, it, you know, after listening to you and following you and, 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 and you opened the group up to the Creative Warriors for the first time, because I'm a founding member. Everybody. You are. Yeah. I, I was like, yep, I'm not going to miss out on this one. This one really got me. Um, and um, it was like, no way, this is, this is what I've been looking for. Oh, that's great. Yeah, that's great. this isn't about pressure. This isn't sell, sell, sell. This is, this is about community and support. Right. Yes, it's about how to sell your art, but it's about your business your way. Right. And your pace. I mean, we're all, we're all connected because we're creative, but... We're all at different levels. And, you know, uh, yeah. most of our members do like to paint in acrylics um, because I do mostly that, like on my page and stuff. But, you know, we're lucky to have you. You, you paint in watercolors. We have other watercolor artists and oil painters. And 
um, you know, some of you that are well versed in different mediums and um, yeah, you're yeah. right. It's I, I'm glad that you mentioned that because I don't want people to think, you know, if they get into creative warriors that they, they, they're going to be, you know, under pressure to have to do this, have to do that, be on a strict schedule. They got to da 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 da. It's it is a um, about community. You're right, and about helping each other. Of course, I have a, a bunch of trainings for you that you cannot consume in a day. Um, it's a no. process, you know, but it's a work Thank at you your know. own pace. Yeah, Amy, the amount that you give in there for what we pay, which is like that much, <laughs> I mean, you don't, you don't, you, 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 you share so much of not just your knowledge, but of yourself as well, that, um, I just thought there had to be a catch, but there isn't. There was, you know, I looked for the catch. I looked for it. And there they're was smart no to look for catches. Yeah, because, right. Yeah, because the only way you find out whether someone's genuine or not is to look, look into it, yeah. to research. And yeah. I thought, mm. so I went from, I went from, yep, paid monthly and I went, bugger it. Sorry, that's an Australian a saying. Yeah, about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I went full on. Yeah, no nah, annual. There's no catch. You've got whatever you need in the guides, and I, you know, all this knowledge that you've got, and you've just shared it in all the guides. And if it's not there, you just hashtag Hey Coach. <laughs> Yep, and I'll go and find it and answer for you. Yeah. Yeah. And you're so personable and reachable. Like in the other in the other ones, it was like um you you might get a, a personal response for them, or you might get one from their assistant. Right. Right. You know, it was all very business like. I know this is a business, but this isn't. This isn't, yeah, it's hard to explain. There's a, there's almost a spiritual component to it. Oh, I love how you explain that. I really do. Because, you know, of course, this is a business for me. But besides it being a business, the most important thing and the reason I started this membership was to help struggling artists who didn't either didn't believe in themselves or didn't have techie skills didn't have any understanding of how to do a promotion or market themselves or, you know, artists that are want to start selling their pieces, but they don't have a lot of money to invest um, because I don't even go into trainings about um, investing in ad campaigns and things like that. Yes, can you do that? Of course you can. But in the Creative Warriors membership, I basically took out all of my knowledge on how I did this myself without spending a whole ton of money and turned around and, and put this into the training so that I could help all of you out who are interested in doing the same thing and connecting, you know, having a, a, a probably the best creative community. I'm so lucky because I feel lucky to be in there myself, even though I'm running it, but it's like, you, Karen, and our other members, it's it. You're right. I do feel that spiritual as well. I feel that nice connection, you know. There is, is a beautiful connection, and um, we're all very supportive of each other. And you, you are very, very supportive of all of us. You're like the mother figure and goddess. <laughs> um, and, um, no, I didn't mean to put a lot of pressure on you then. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah um it's it's very organic in there it's it's a very natural feel everybody is at a different stage like you said and I've gone from feeling like I'm a creative artistic person to hey I'm an artist right you got to own that. Yeah, exactly. And i have been validated by my fellow creative warriors. 
which when I say that includes you because you you run the show. <laughs> but um, I've also been validated outside of that too through the art gallery. Mm -hmm. that, that the the lady that interviewed me for the volunteer position went, "Oh my God, no, you're an artist." Right, right. <laughs> you know? There you go. Um, and also the other thing is that I, because I am a retiree and I don't want the necessary pressures of deadlines and things like that, I just want to do the art. But yes, I don't want to have a wall full of art that I don't know what to do with. Right, good point. <laughs> like, yeah, I would like to, I would like to sell my art and I have found like different ways of presenting it. Like, like I said, I, I I do the, um, this is the other piece, like a, I make pockets and put little bits of art doodles yeah, in there. Yeah, so like cool. That. Um, and I have an Etsy shop, which I don't pay an awful lot of ten attention to. I just hear the cha-ching when there's a sale on my phone. And Isn't I think, that a oh, wonderful I thing? I better pack that up and send it off. You know, I just want something to run itself so that I can just sit and paint or yeah. bind the book. And I've gone from selling those two paintings to having a commission piece for, through Creative Warriors. So now I've got that commission piece in America, I have a piece of art hanging up in someone's home in New Zealand. I have a piece of art hanging up in England. <laughs> I have yeah, you're an international artwork. artist, like boom, all of a sudden. Yes, I have artwork hanging up in China. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Um, so yes, uh, and none of it has been like pressured. Yes, there's they've been commissioned pieces but um I've not felt that pressure the only one that was commissioned to be done by a certain deadline was the piece that had to be done by a certain time in America but that deadline was a couple of months yeah I had a couple of months to do it and I don't take long to paint unfortunately yeah. I wish it looks like you do, but that's one thing I've learned about you is you, you're like, no, it didn't take me that long. And that kind of blows me away because, you know, your work is spot on. And uh, yeah, I am so, I, I still remember, Karen, in Creative Warriors, like the, I, if I remember correctly, I think I do, the first piece that you sold when you became a member was the beautiful elephant um, yes. that you did. Oh my gosh. And so, you know, Karen has sold numerous pieces since then, um, went from doubting herself and wondering if she's really an artist to, you know, jumping in Amazing. with us and Creative Warriors and doing amazing things. And um, now look, even expanding out into the local gallery and things like that. So I am so proud of you and um, happy for you know, how you've come along in, you know, a short period of time, because Creative Warriors isn't even really that old. I mean, we had our first birthday a couple of months ago. So, um, yeah, and to have you as one of my founding members, I, I feel so lucky. So thank you for that, Karen. Oh, I feel blessed to have found you because, like I said, I tried other memberships. And this isn't to knock the other memberships because... Um, I saw it while I was a part of those memberships, people saying, oh, you're just what I needed. And then, and they're just what some other people need. Yeah. But that's yeah. what I need. We, all, we all connect with different type of persons. So like, you know, yeah. all of you watching now, Creative Warriors may or may not be open, depending on the time that you see this video. There should be a link in or around here, at least for the wait list, because I open two times a year to the public. Um, but Karen is totally right. Like you connect with certain people, certain groups, certain communities. So look around and find the one that's right for you. I, I sure hope that you're a good fit and want to try Creative Warriors out and see how it goes for you. If you're not a good fit, that's okay. Find someone that is so that you can propel and, <coughs> excuse me, and um, further your dreams and goals as an artist, you know? Yeah. 
Yeah. And the other thing that I, I, I feel that I want to say is that there has never, ever been an angry or nasty word said in this community. It's all been loving and supportive. And, in, and I'm not saying mushy. And none of it's fake. They're all right. just really genuine, interested, caring people. That have, right. To me, I think they've all been looking for the same sort of thing. Yes. And I am very thankful for that as well, that we, we, have, we don't have any nasty people. We haven't had any, you know, uh, nasty comments or anything. And I am a, like a mother bear in that way anyway I'm very careful on who um who I deal with online and I'm straight up front when I open my membership and stuff it's not for mean people it's for it's okay to have a, a rough day you know or, or to ask for help because that's what we're doing is helping each other out but yeah I won't put up with that and you know hopefully we never get that in the future but if so well I will be surveying and, I, and I'll take care of it. So to keep it nice and a safe haven like that. And we, we've, we're all mature enough to have difference of opinions and share it and enjoy the difference in the opinion rather than see that somebody's differing opinion is an attack on yours. Right. Nobody sees it that way. We're all mature. It's like, yeah. hello. <laughs> yeah. But this is great. Exactly. <laughs> no, I have no fear of putting my art up and asking for feedback. Yeah. And asking someone to say, like, like my sailing ship, uh, I knew there was something wrong with it. It's not <laughs> something I'm actually very proud of. And I do have it here to show because I'm not that a fantastic artist when it comes to acrylics. But, that, but you did that in acrylic, so that's not even your specialty. I mean, it does look great. But, I'm, but show your watercolors again one more time before we before we end our uh, session together, because I want them to see your pieces again. And I would really love, Karen, for you to let everyone know, uh, look at that owl. That's Karen's work in watercolor. Um, let everyone know, Karen, where they can go to find you and uh, get in touch with you if they would like to uh, either purchase one of your pieces or just kind of follow you online, where can they go? Okay, so um, I have a Facebook business page, uh, which is Karen M. Finnegan at Galleria Art. I do have a private group that you can uh, find the link for in that, on that page uh, that you can request to join. Um, I'm also on Instagram as uh, Karen Finnegan Nature Artist. Wonderful. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Karen, for spending time with me. And I'm it. sure that you've inspired uh, quite a few people. I, I know that. that uh, I hope so. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, everybody, wave bye to Karen. Let us know if you have any questions. We'll come back and get back to you. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Amy. You're welcome.